and we early in the morning. <coughs> Hello. Was that actually better Hello. than Hello. Was that a blue cage? It was uh, better than anything. In, no, it was about Luke Cage. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was kind of Damn. It was Luke. All right, guys. Right. I'm going to skip this episode. I'm going to kill myself. Wow. Whoa. We don't. We, we don't. do not promote that. Yeah, in 2018. Nah, bro. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, man. Where have you been, bro? bro Here. Come next on, Next to man. y'all. Did you fall asleep and wake Wait. up in 2006? Bro, like, are you? <laughs> Wait. It's you not 2006? Like... <laughs> Where the fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> man, how scary would that be? That would be terrifying. Yo. Imagine a, imagine you wake up out of a coma and someone told you Donald Trump is president. <laughs> you wouldn't fu- like the your fired guy is president? I would have been like, put me no, back to but, sleep. But no, how long is this coma? <laughs> long, long enough. <laughs> it was <laughs> you got a coma halfway through Obama's last year. <laughs> and you woke up today. Oh, God. oh and you're black. Is that you're, what you're saying? No, you're anybody. Oh, no. Yeah. No, you can't be You anybody, think Trump man. had fans before? Dude, no, whoa, whoa. I'm about to go really deep. No, we didn't even do the intro. I'm sorry. Because we just Trump brought fan. you on another TPSG wild ass tangent. Yeah, Off we the rip. brought you Off in with that ripper. shit. What's up? Wow. What's We're, good, though, no, we do. It's and your mom's favorite <laughs> podcast. And that is. We are those into, intellectual. Um, you ask me the same um, question every time. I ask you the same question. <laughs> Why are you pointing out my jokes? Now I can never do it again. <laughs> Thanks. Gay. Dramatic, a.k.a. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this nigga cackling next to your, me? And you know it's your boy every time. <laughs> I see black hair. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Oh, Fight through it. yo. Fight through it. All right, yo, yo. And to my right is my nigga disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> AKA, say what you need it's to say. <laughs> say what you need to say with the snaps. I can't say wait till the end of this say. episode. To extend this nigga sat every day. <laughs> it's going to be an 80 minute episode. <laughs> yo. It's like five hours of dog years. Man, it's your boy, Swiss. Um, Army, I ain't gonna sing it. Swiss, oh, it's Swiss oh. Army nigga. The beat was ready. <laughs> Niggas was ready, bro. Oh, okay, so we're gonna do it then. Swiss Army, Army nigga. nigga. Right. Swiss Army nigga. Right, right. Swiss Army nigga. Right. Better crescendo Swiss that shit. Army nigga. Right. It's only because he told me to do it, I was gonna. Alright. <laughs> Who kid's gonna hate me for that one? Word. <laughs> and this is, you just beating up the table. <laughs> And this is Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Flaco Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stanley III, a.k.a. No more a.k.a. Stop the violence. And speaking of violence, mm. good Lord. <laughs> we gotta the, sp- I- the internet violence is being brought. <laughs> Word. Twitter. Upon, uh, first of all. The Twitter can, finger has been firing. Fi- who can fi- fi- name fi- this fi- episode? The internet is dangerous <laughs> with an exclamation at the end. And if you could put an emoji hand like this, the internet is dangerous. <laughs> anyway, dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> so a couple celebrities recently, you may know some. Mm-hmm. You'll definitely know one of them at least. Mm-hmm. Got like, how they say, dragged on Twitter or drug. 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 Like by the... By the ponytail, the by first, the collar. Yo, the, the, first, yeah. the first time y'all brought it up, shit. I thought y'all were like literally meant like somebody drugged that nigga. That like, is exactly what I. I'm like, somebody, wow. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm not like, a sadistic. Yo, sorry. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Somebody slipped something in that nigga drink. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the first, yo, when when, <laughs> when Brandon said it, I was like, oh shit, he got drugged. The first thing I thought was, oh man, they raped Killmonger. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a, why, why you gotta kill I, I was like, man, I wonder what he's going through. He's that's probably a, tweeting some serious, like, he's be, helping out a lot of battered men right now. That's that, all I that's was thinking. That's wild. That'd be yeah, a that's metaphor. where my wild. head went. That'd be a metaphor for your ass, though. <laughs> Ow. How do you really feel, America? Anyway, before we start a rumor, <laughs> what <laughs> really happened, uh, Killmonger, a.k.a. Michael B. Jordan, he was... He was on vacation in Italy, mm. and he was on like a boat. It wasn't a yacht or anything, and it was mostly white girls, because mm. as he said, there's not a lot of black women in Italy, right. and they attacked him. Mm. Go find them. Why didn't you bring them? <laughs> like, you know Damn. 
And he's like, yo, I don't know what y'all attacked me for. Y'all going overboard. He mm. said, I love all types of milk. He said, yeah. he said vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, <laughs> um, cinnamon toast crunch milk. <laughs> it's all good or something. <laughs> something like that. That was like a Michael that. B. Jordan And answer. what's crazy is, here's the kicker. <laughs> Sorry. Never in his entire career, he's never said something negative about, about black women. He dates white women, mm-hmm. but he's never bashed black women. Never. And mm-hmm. black women that tell you, yeah, he never bashed us, but fuck him. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he just he just had some chicks on the boat. Has he ever had a they black girl? They said his all-white girl yacht party. If you look so, at the picture, so his, it's like four white girls so, on a boat I feel like, that so, Jason got killed on. Like, so <laughs> I, feel like what they're, I feel like what they're mad was, at. Yeah, it's just a regular boat. I feel like what they're mad at is that like he hasn't dated any anybody black. Right? I, I assume so. But yeah. but like, I mean it, it's 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 I mean personally well, first of all y'all hypocrites. <laughs> Let's start there. Yeah, Let's start at your hypocrisy. Y'all always mm. y'all posting what? him on y'all man crush Mondays. Not <laughs> even that. That's an easy one. <laughs> Serena Williams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, go get the bad girl. He's white. Da 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 blah blah. Oh, yeah. Celebrated her. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? Yeah. What is the difference? Mm. Word. Hey, if look, go, I love Serena. She could date an alien. I don't know fuck. I love Serena Williams. Y'all always mm. talking about But y'all power being hypocrites. Co- Word. Like, you can't have it both ways. Word. Y'all always you talking about not. power couples and all yep. this shit. Well, guess what? She come from money. It, exactly. They're now a power couple. Word. Yeah. It, and um, somebody on Twitter, you know, rudely said, you mad at him because he not hollering at your dusty ass. <laughs> That's why you say he hate black women. No, he does. He just prefers another race. There's nothing wrong with that. Word. I mean, I mean, at the end of the nigga, day, let, I can find a reason wrong with it. it but I'm not being petty right now. Word. <laughs> if you go, if you're gonna be, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. if you're gonna be critical, be critical both ways. And if that's if, all I'm if asking. If you go, let niggas live. Let everybody live. Right? Thank you. Yeah. It's because they love him so much every, and they suspect that oh, he wants a black queen. I'm like this. Every, some no. people do, but he doesn't. Everybody's a and hypocrite. It's just like that. Well, and, and it's, not, not, it's not even to say he doesn't. It just worked out that way. I don't know. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I made it sound bad. I'm mm-hmm. not saying he doesn't want a black woman. He prefers non-black yeah. women. No, but even saying that because he's... No, no, but he, no, he says that himself. He no, says he's not that. Like, no, he, yeah, said, he, no said, he said what he said was he liked all type of women. No, no, this is before. This is prior. Oh, this is prior. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. He always talks about how he likes white women. Oh, you can look it up. If I'm wrong, forgive me. I feel like I may have heard that before, <laughs> yeah. but I'm not going like, to. It's nothing wrong. But it's not like you. I mean, it's not like you say I like women. I I, well, I, I like white women because black I, women are well, so. Like actually, you've never I've, said nothing. Like I have that. a problem <laughs> with niggas saying that they like white women, or I do too. Yeah. Cause, however, because it's like <laughs> even a, even at a even at a um. A place, I'm, I understand this was probably prior, and you know, he's probably mm-hmm. young nigga, and you know what I mean? Young but and like, he's from Cali, too. A lot of Cali niggas. Oh, yeah, they like white girls. Yeah. I know this. Uh, a lot, not, not all of them, but a good amount of them. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, a, a place of, you know, you're a place of a, a, a certain amount of influence, you know what I'm saying? Even you saying that, you know, not to say, I don't know, not, well, not to get too deep, but like, you know, no, the. No. The, the 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 overall I feel like the this 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 also plays to the 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 injured self esteem of the black woman and the black man too mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying because it's like why they they feel hurt by this for a reason you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying you're absolutely right yes you're right mm-hmm. I just want the fairness I just want the why can it happen this way but not this way no no you're right you know what I'm saying you're right because there are because th- I've seen black women like. I think um, uh, like outwardly be like, oh, I'm down with the swirl. Yeah, looking for a, and a it's white cute. Man. It's adventure. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, fun. and and they, you know, it, <laughs> it doesn't seem. I'm like, I'd be like, damn, you 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 kind of a bird, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> you kind of bird. Yeah. See your wings poke it out. And I feel the same way about niggas that say that. I'm like, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly, I would say that mm-hmm. I would never marry a white woman. Mm-hmm. Because you have to keep the bloodline strong. I would mm-hmm. marry a black woman. I'd be very... But I would date one, of course. But I wouldn't marry one. But see, even... Personally. Even, even that. Person, I wouldn't marry one. Even that. Because I wouldn't even go as far to date anybody I wouldn't marry. But like... E- well, of I w- course. I would feel conflicted. You were like too. their entire life, I feel, though. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like the ultimate like thing God would do to be like, yeah, you have a sense of humor is to like make me fall in love with a white woman. 
Because I'd be like, God dang it, man. I can't believe <laughs> that this happened that to me. Did it happen to me? I would have never. Jesus. I, I was, I'm like, damn. Then I'm you like, start just for like, bro, she's shaped so, like a black woman. Well, I'm, like, I talk, I'm like, I talk so much. Because like, what nah, if, she gonna, he going to fall if, in love with the whitest of white. Because what if. He's going to fall in love with Lisa Pancake Kudrow. booty. <laughs> because if we're really talking about like, you know, just, just love and equality. I mean, you might just. You can't help but who you, who you fall in love with. Uma Thurman. It's true. But it's not true. <laughs> That's true. Where? That's so true. Yeah, it I, really does. I'd be like, damn it. I would. <laughs> yeah, you ever been connected to somebody you don't, you didn't know why? Like, Where? it's because you love white women. I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be like <laughs> shit. Now, of course. You love white, carefree souls. <laughs> I, 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 I talk way too much shit. Yeah, but. And they love hearing the shit. <laughs> back, <laughs> like, like, back to the point. There, there it goes. Man. You're right. You're going to get You're you right. One. In, it, like secure the, the bag, they, they, bro. <laughs> secure the, invest, the bag. <laughs> for the investment of black people, we'd rather you not date outside the race. No, no, that's a dead ass yeah. serious thing to keep the bloodline strong. That's a real thing. Oh wait, 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 like, you made a point that there is something wrong. It's like, yeah, of course, there's something very wrong for them. But at the same time, it's like his preference. It's like, no, 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 his... no. To say you have a preference, because mm-hmm. you keep going back to preference and then you, but to say you even have a preference before you even, cause to say you have a preference before you go from a person to person basis is already problematic in itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, because uh, no. that already shows like prejudice, already shows like, yeah. And, and mind you, so there's, ha- there's, mind, there's, but mind you, we have it. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Because I could say, um, I have a preference to black women for mm-hmm. certain reasons, but then for my thing, it's it's it, I I find issue when black men say they have a preference to white women, offer it before they even go toward. Because to me, that stems from something else. Yeah, it stems from well, one they um they well, always say white of, women are more passive. Cause no, cause yeah, you know, there, there's, there's no kickback from the like. There's you that because I. White women. I'll whenever whenever I hear dudes say that, it's always premised with something either it's always something with putting black women black down. Black women down. Like whenever no, no, whenever, yeah, whenever, exactly. whenever you hear whenever you hear somebody yeah. a black man say, you know, I prefer a black women, it's never on some, you know, fuck Becky shit. It it's never on some that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But whenever Not it's always. other way around, it's always some stemming, oh, black women are this or, you know, for whatever you ba- so, ba- no, no, no. based on based either, on your yeah. experience or, though. or based e- on your either, experience either the status symbol but well that's based, that's what based I'm, on your experience yeah that's though. what I'm speaking from yeah, yeah. and I, and and yeah we do hear a lot of dudes say that because that's like a popular conversation however there's a lot of reads other reasons why you just might find a large population of black dudes that like white girls because like what we were saying in in California. Especially in LA, you know, a lot of black people go to school with white people, and mm-hmm. and but then yo, what? my my cousins that went out there, yo, like all of all of his first crushes were like little white girls, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what they that's who they're around, that's what they saw first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, but unfortunate. Like, but even, and when I was out there, I had crushes on white girls too. But then, <laughs> Everybody so, had crushes. But then, but then, grew up in America. I but believe. then, but then there's always a stem because like growing up here, like you know, I remember like niggas just being into Spanish girls. And it was always, mm-hmm. and and that too, and that too, mm-hmm. it's it's all, it's low key like a status thing too, you know what I'm saying? And it's like a status, yeah, yeah. You're, I don't know. I, I, well, I think when I you mean, say I status, remember, you I, I mean like for, no, for when, no, when no, I for, went for, this... for 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 a, a, a black man have a white woman and vice versa. Especially, I feel like especially vice versa. Oh, I thought you were talking thing. about like in Spanish, um, Hispanic girls. Oh no, no, like, no. I'm just talking about like, gen- in general. Like, there's oh. a, that's another reason too. Mm-hmm. Why I feel like some somebody people, might yes. gra- gravitate. Mm-hmm. For some people, yes, they will outright See, one say of my first like, "Yeah, girlfriends was Spanish." Yeah, yeah. We 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 strayed very far yeah. from. <laughs> we really I did, but no to bring it back around, <laughs> mm-hmm. the internet is very dangerous. You drag, <laughs> remember, at one point girls were throwing their panties at Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, and what? now they're and dragging them through the and mud. And he's always been open what? with their his... panties on his face. Was they still love him? Oh, but they're there, mad at there's him. no, <laughs> yes, yeah, status and from from that they're always, yeah, always like and also, there's a last point on it. Mm-hmm. Attack the right people. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, but to attack, attack the, the right people, people we hold on, hold on, people we, the we, right we, way. These, we these had are, this conversation before, but these are easy punchlines. Yeah. 
attack the right people. Good point. But how do you figure that out? You have to actually think, y'all. Think before you react. Yes. Yeah, think before you react. Yes, man. Like, a lot of it is reactionary. Because like, yeah. all that shit is like, emotional. Before, and, before you, you go and tweet some logical. shit about Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> man, know the history. The man been saying he like white girls. He been said that. He's yeah. from LA. Like, go figure. Okay, move along. There's plenty of the fish in the sea, black girls. Yeah. All right. And some of y'all pointed out on Twitter, too. Mm. But anyway, Black women, of, sorry. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we need y'all. Oh, <laughs> But, Speaking of t- um, Twitter, mm. so not onto a little lesser known celebrity, baseball pitcher, Josh Hader. He was at the All Star Game, nonetheless. Mm-hmm. And some old retweets of him resurfaced. Mm-hmm. Him saying homophobic shit, racist shit, just offensive shit overall. Retweets? No, or no, he tweets? tweeted it. Oh. He- oh, so, so people saw his old tweets and retweeted it. Yeah, and they uh, screenshot him because he eventually deleted his Twitter. Uh, <laughs> he had fire. He yeah. made it private, <laughs> and then he deleted it. Damn. And this all happened at the All-Star game. Mm-hmm. And it got During so bad. During the All-Star bad. game? It got so bad. People that was wearing his jersey in the stands mm-hmm. took their jersey off and put on a, like a replica jersey without his name on it. Wow. All this was just... Damn. Happening so fucking fast. He was That's like, some shit. And to make it worse, I think he gave up a two-run homer. What were the tweets? In the fucking All-Star game. Damn. All right, uh, one tweet, he said something about Trayvon Martin. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm, it's not verbatim. He said, hey, Trayvon Peeps, no matter how much you rally, he ain't coming back. How, how about you put the proper focus in the people being gunned down in Chicago? Or something like that. Basically saying... Trayvon's dead. Don't worry about him. Worry about people that are being killed right now. Oh, yeah, or, or that was one of them. <laughs> I think. I think he even said like worry about innocent people. To, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. To I imply, think innocent to imply people, that yeah. Trayvon wasn't innocent. Yes, type of boom. It. Yeah, right. words are important. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, he had another one where like off rip then fuck him. Yeah, off yeah. rip. Yeah. I didn't need fuck to hear that, anything yeah. else. Yeah, he was saying the n word a lot, like mm. nigger. Mm. And you know how we say what's good, nigga. Mm. Yeah. He would say, what's good, nigger? Like, he would use how we use nigger as nigger. He would use mm. a hard R. Yeah, mm. then he said, I hate gay people. Mm. And then he Straight said, like um, that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if he people. lost a bet, because it seemed like a weird tweet. Mm. Yeah. I, I hate gay people. Like, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. And he had, like, just, just a whole bunch of offensive high. tweets and, you know, the classic excuse. They interviewed him at the All-Star game. What do you have to say? Oh, I was in high school. I was young and dumb. I apologize. I don't feel ago, that way bro. now. He tweeted that Trayvon shit in 2016. Mm-hmm. You, if it's you, 2018. Where, yeah, because he was just in high school, probably. Yeah, where, give me that bullshit, man. Where you had that hateful ass opinion. It's too, fresh. Yeah, it's that's fresh. Too, that's too. That's too recent. Yeah, because that, that that goes that that asks a question of like who people are and are the people the same people that are in the past. I'm like mm-hmm. no, but then. Two years ago, you were pretty yeah, much... Yeah, two, like two years is not the past. It would. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What is it? You You're not the same person you were five, ten, maybe. I'll give you that. But at, le- at, at the absolute least... Five, ten. Five to ten. Word. Yeah. You, then but you could be years, like, I'm not the same person. Two years per- is like beginning of the transition, and that's, bro. You, and that's still, after, you still ain't shit. And that's <laughs> after you've said and done things to kind of counteract what you said. Yeah. Like, say, say you... Say he was like... Um, you know, on some progressive shit now, uh-huh. and then that that dug up. I'm like, oh, okay, but see, you, yeah, you just a a punk ass picture. Where like you know what I'm saying? You, Fuck you, doing the advance anybody? Where it's sorry. like you, it's like you, a punk ass picture. Yeah. And he got long hair. She's like a typical white guy. So so like, I'm, I'm sorry. So, but Me I mean, the bros are just being bros. So, like, all, <laughs> that's all I mean, like, that is the, such a stereotypical. Ha, like, how much, <laughs> how much have you matured now to mm-hmm. the point that you just don't tweet about it anymore? Yeah, you know he what I'm saying. Did, yeah, he he felt so strong. He's like, you know what? Let me not delete these tweets. Delete my Twitter. Mm-hmm. That means yeah. pressure. That control. Because yeah. he knows he ain't shit. He's like, oh my God, mom, who am I? <laughs> Boy, mom, he called so home sorry. during the All-Star game. <laughs> mom, I don't think I can go out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You're not staying in my house. But then <laughs> he took off my jersey. But then there's Josh? A, but then there's the other guy. Um, oh, yes. Um, James Gunn. Yes. If you don't know who he is, he's the director of both Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. And... News came out, boom, he got fired for the third one. Damn. 
two pieces of bad news. One, there's a third one. You spoiled it. Uh, yeah. Two, he's not directed it because they're pretty good movies. Mm. I liked them. The second like, one's okay. I mean, they're the good. It directors. was a good ass sequel though. You know, sequels flop. Mm. It was a good sequel. Mm. I. Am I the only, I'm not the only person. But it wasn't better than the first one. It yeah. was good. It I, was like, it was, I mean, let's oh, not man. let's not go too deep into yeah. that. Yeah. But um, we need to have a Marvel episode. Anyway, yeah, 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 that's true. Later. true. Yeah, later. Yeah. But um he had some very unsettling and disturbing tweets and retweets. Now I apologize for pulling my phone out, but I just want to be on point. They were pedophilish, mm. they were rapish. People in podcast land don't know you just took your phone out. Oh, they do now. <laughs> so one of these tweets said, he retweeted someone that said this. I don't even want to say it. Wow. I like when little boys touch me in my silly place. What? Mm. Um, uh, when, wait, when were these tweets? Uh, 2009. 2009. Wow. That wasn't that long photo, ago for your dirt bag Another ass. one, photo shoot with t- three names that he's doing a photo shoot with. I guess they're attractive. Mm. He said, trying to maintain a semi-chub. So that I look impressive in these photos. Wow. Um, the Ooh. Hardy Boys and the mystery of what it feels like when Uncle Bernie fists me. And the, the hashtag is sad children books. Mm. So you just come up with sad children books. First of all, <laughs> I, I felt very uncomfortable. Reading what books. a disgusting fuck. Where, I'm not, like, if you uh, want to... W's got a, a weird James sense Gunn. of humor, yeah. dog. That's just three, and I want to jump off a cliff right mm. now. This is disgusting. I want so to this was myself. this was two thousand nine. How wait is he? He's. I mean, how, how old, old is, is he? he? I'm not sure. I, I'll have um our producer look it up. But he's been in the industry. <laughs> he's been to um James Gunn, and see how long he's been in the industry. He's been in the industry for a while. He has a couple movies under his belt. So so while uh, my my question is uh-huh. is two is one while these tweets were going out, was he working in Hollywood? Yes, yes. Okay. I believe so, yeah. 2011? Uh, that was seven. Yeah, he had to Wait, no, did you, you said 2009. No, no. They, they progressed. One, two, nine, one, two, nine, eleven. Oh, so the latest is two from 2011. No, the latest is uh, 2012, 2012, 2009, 2012. Oh, so... 2012, yeah, 2012. 2012. The so these, the these range over a couple of years. And the first yeah. Guardians came out, what, 2015? We're in 18, I believe. Right? Was it 2014? Oh, that's a, just a weird sense of it might humor. Be and, or 15. And, and the, he's 51. And he's 50. He's been in, in, a, in, you know, since 95, been in Hollywood. So that's his He's MO. 51. So he was a grown... Okay, that's that's the main thing I wanted to see. Yeah. He was a grown-ass man when he, he tweeted. Yeah, so the oldest one is 2009. That's nine years ago. Yeah. He was 42. You a grown ass nah, nigga. See, nah. That's fucking weird. Wow. Nah, see, That's fucking weird. Weirdo. And, nah. and oh. then now a no whole excuse. bunch of other celebrities' tweets are being service, resurfaced. Mm-hmm. This is other white guy. You know his face. Oh, black you Twitter's about to have so much fun. Mm-hmm. You, he's he's been on a lot of shit. He's you just he's just that white guy in the funny movie. Mm-hmm. They brought up some old tweets about him, bro. I was like, well, here's this guy. He's a pedophile. Y'all gonna say something about this? And that guy's right. All of them should be. Crucified. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad people bring up old shit like that. I guess I, it, it, it shows a mirror to the culture. Because, mm-hmm. like, when you when you look at, like, the internet and, like, the jokes, like, W's got some weird-ass sense of humor, dog. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes it's, from, yeah, being, like... I don't know where it comes from. Just devaluing, like, life, dog, because... They be saying some shit that's like, bro, you you can only joke about that if you really don't give a fuck about yeah. anything outside very, your life. Mm-hmm. Very nonchalant with words. Word. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they don't they don't care what comes out their mouth because mm-hmm. you know they're W's and they're yeah. mute and everything. Mm-hmm. But um, <laughs> so uh, speaking of old shit, this is a sidebar. Mm-hmm. Our boy Childish Gambino. Mm-hmm. He used to do these skits on YouTube called Derek Comedy. Have you ever yeah, seen those? Yeah, a long I, time ago, but yeah. I'm it good. came up out of nowhere. Yeah, they It was in my suggested thing on YouTube. And they had this skit called Bro Rape. Mm. <laughs> and wow. he acted like he raped his homeboy. Wow. Right on YouTube. Wow. wow. Now, I'm like, what did I just watch? Wow. The Illuminati got him early. <laughs> <laughs> they got you from YouTube skits, nigga. He used to do Hope the, you enjoy I, the fame. I watched this old movie with him. I think it was called, like, Mystery. It Mystery, Mystery Team. Mystery they were, they were team, like, uh, detectives. There three dudes. Mm. Oh, my God. And I think it's the same three dudes from the skit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was white crew. Crew. that was his crew. Yeah. That he it's, did it's, comedy It's with. crazy how niggas used to joke about rape a lot, dog. Yeah. 
Like, it, <laughs> like, that, like it's, 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 it's wild it's to me. Up, if you look at old Monty Python, like, videos, they, there's like, um, there's a skit that comes to mind, like, dudes in the jungle, in the jungle, in a dungeon, and, um, like, they're reading off his charges, like, one of them, he was like, pillaging and raping and stuff like that, and, like, they were just, like, joking about that shit, like, to the point where, like, he was like, back to pillaging, back to raping, and he picked up a wow. woman, put it over his shoulder, and just <laughs> ran off, like, wow, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, comedy goes far, mm -hmm. but, you know. It, it's a reflection of the culture. Oh, no, no, of course. Like, what the culture doesn't deem important or deem... You won't either. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's fact. So, so, like, seeing these things, seeing dated stuff kind of shows our progress, mm -hmm. but also seeing people, because the question pops up is, like, should these people lose their jobs or lose opportunity or should be judged based on these things and i feel like whether well i don't know about opportunities or whatever that that mm -hmm. that's up to that's up to whoever's people. hiring them, exactly honestly. Mm -hmm. that's up to them and yeah, how yeah, you yeah. feel about that but as to like should we um use this as kind of like a, a benchmark into who they are and i say kind of yeah you know what yep. i mean because it's like because all right um i agree put it like this when when you're at a therapist, psychiatrist, what do they ask about? I don't generally. I need I need to see one. Your past. Yeah. Mm. Oh they yeah. Always ask about your past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what did you do? Have you ever? Well, not. I don't think they'll ask questions like that, but they, you know, mm. end up finding that that out about people. Mm. And um, it's true not to look in the past because you know you got to look forward to go to the future, blah blah. But mm. your past is who you is what like mold you into who you was today. It has something to do with who you are today. Mm. You, you have might, to look at the foundation of a person yeah, to find it's, it's, out where they're going. Because like, exactly. while you may not believe something you used to believe, mm. you we don't know that. that one, we don't know we that. We don't know if you still. Believe we don't know that. So like, that's why people will look at certain old things and look at the progression and find out like, well, where are you now? Yeah. Or why do you? Or why you even believed those things you used to believe? Mm -hmm. Was it something you were taught from your parents? And then at some point you snapped out of it and realized, oh, that's just not cool. Yeah, for real. Like, it it depends. So like, it's not up to us. I think the people at large to determine who gets opportunities or not. It's up to the person vetting mm -hmm. uh, these individuals. But like, we won't know because like public opinion already crucifies you and that just fucks you and you're done. True. And that's and, that's and then what either you now, do something like anything. super redemptive. Mm -hmm. Is that a right word? Is that a word? But um, <laughs> but is that a form of justice? Is, is that a form of justice to where people with these kind of like stark views, kind of get, you know, ousted from opportunities like this? Well, it's not for us to decide. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, that, that's too much. Earlier, this we're about to go down another black hole. Yeah, true. rabbit hole. No, no, true. no. With that, oh, 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 no, 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 my bad, my, my bad. Yeah, say yeah, what you said. need to say. <laughs> say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. All right, go ahead. Fuck y'all. <laughs> no, but what I was saying, um, no, that that depends on the studio. If they feel like they can handle that type of press, or they can take care of it, mm. if they can't. Fuck out of here, nigga. Word. You know, you're not worth us going through millions of dollars trying to clean your name. Just leave. True. So that's what it's up to. It's up to the studio. Like it's because basically uh, repeating what we said. <laughs> say what you need I said I was gonna say that earlier. Say what you need to say. Don't touch me. Say what you need to say. Don't touch me. Say what you need to say. I was that. This has wow. been Flocka Zulu, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Sir Black Stallion Third. Spur Black Stallion. Spur the, the Spur versus the Sir Burfus Sir AKA No More AKA Stop the Violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already know. It's your boy I seen Black, aka Laffy McGee, damn near. <laughs> AKA Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. And I gotta say one thing. Love yourself mm. and who you used to be and now who you are today. Exactly. It might be though, but it just might be at the same time. Word. Yeah, we, and depending on who you used to be, right. you might need to go back and delete some tweets because <laughs> yeah. they will come back and bite you. Way ahead of you. Go back on your yeah. MySpace, your Facebook. <laughs> I used to say some wild shit on it. I need to look back. Yeah. Yeah.